Hi everyone. So um, I am doing Sarah Shepard's AG doll tag because I thought it was fun. It would be fun to do. Um, I'm on my web camera. I don't know what's wrong with my other camera. It probably needs to be charged. And I wanted to get this um, done before lunch. So yes. Um, so on to the questions is how many American Girl dolls do you have? I have eight. Um, I have Elizabeth, uh, Avon Grace Emerus, who's a Just Like You, um, Madeline, who, I, who is a renamed Marie Grace, Samantha Parkington, Lainey Holland, Mal uh, Molly McIntyre, Felicity Merriman, and Elizabeth Cole. And I hope to get some more. They're all in their um, Halloween outfits right now. And there's an All My Dolls video on my channel as well. Um, except for Emily, who just um, last week, and I haven't changed her clothes yet, last week did her um, AGPMA photo shoot, and it was fall, so, and it looks, it's super cute, it looks totally like something I would wear, and um, that's why she's my mini-me today, and that's why I have her with me as I'm shooting this AG doll tag, so yes. Uh, what have you learned as a collector? Um, I've learned that there is a whole community out there of people that love um, American Girl dolls and especially adults. I thought I was the only adult that liked to collect dolls and not just American Girl dolls but like porcelain dolls as well. I thought I was the only like adult and then I go on to um, YouTube and see Steven Soto Dancer and Amy Sofa and, and all of the other and some that aren't even on um, I think Forever AG's website, um, Everybody Loves Dolls, I really um, saw that there were a lot of adults out there that also collected dolls, so, um, and American Girl Dolls to be specific. So um, that's kind of what I've learned, is that I'm not the only one, um, and that, yeah, that there's a whole community out there, and that's kind of why I joined YouTube as well, so, yes. All right, even though I'm an adult and older, there's like other adults out there too. Okay, are you into stop motions, photographies, how to's, or informational videos? Um, I'd have to say right now I'm more into photography only because just like all of you, I'm really learning through the dolls how to take great pictures and I'm actually going to teach a class on photography um, because of what I've learned with them. So that's super fun. Um, I want to get more into stop motions. They take a lot of time and I don't personally have a lot of time because I have a full-time job. Um, but I would love to do some more stop motions and some more music videos. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm into. Um, I love how to do hair videos, but a lot of people don't like my or haven't seen my how-to videos, and, it, and I know it's not about views or subscribers or anything, but a lot of people don't seem to watch them um, just because I tend to do um, historical hairdos and um, kind of the other hairstyles are already out there, so I tend to do more of like the Regency hairdos, um, how to redo Elizabeth's braid I put on there, um, and and things like that. And so a lot of um, people, <laughs> YouTubers on YouTube right now, aren't really into history the way that I'm into history. So yeah. Uh, moving on, if you could have any doll for free, including retired dolls, which one would you get? Um, I would get all of them. <laughs> um, but specifically, I got into recollecting American Girl dolls and recollecting dolls right about the time that Samantha Parkington and Nellie O'Malley retired. And I would love to have Nellie O'Malley. Um, I'm really into Irish history and Celtic history and um, as well as American history too. So, I mean, I'm into, into history and um, she just, she's a doll that I would love to have. So, um, but she's really expensive right now and there's no way I'm going to pay, you know, that much for a doll. So, I mean, I could, but <laughs> yeah. So, if she ever comes back, um, from being retired, I would definitely get her first. And this video is probably really long right now. Um, if you create any doll size item, what would it be? Make sure you describe it. 
<laughs> just like all of you, my dream right now is to have an American doll house. Not because I want to play house or play with my dolls, but because I want to show off my dolls in the setting and in the time period that they're actually from because I collect the historical dolls. I have one just like you and I have and and Lainey, um, who's the girl of the year. And um I'm planning on getting maybe one or two more just like you dolls, but my favorite dolls to collect all the historical dolls only because um my dog came up to me only because again I love history so I would love to set them off and set their rooms up like the time period that they're in and so that's something that I would would do um, I would set uh, Emily and Molly or uh, yeah Emily and Molly in a 1940s room and get two Molly beds and set them up Felicity and Elizabeth would be in one room and it would be colonial room um, Avon would have her own room well, not her own room, but she would share with another just like you doll or Lainey. Uh, Lainey would probably be in a nature room or, you know, whatever. Marie Grace would be in her own um, Civil War era room. And then Samantha and, if I ever get Nellie, would be in a 1900s room. Um, Rebecca, when I get her, because um, I'm saving up for her, um, would be in her in her room, and so would um, uh, my other one that I really want, <laughs> Kids, Ruthie. Ruthie um, would be in a 30s room, and then I'd have like a living room that would be like a parlor type room, and so I'd have just like um, some sofas and and in there that's more resembling of like Victorian era historical, you know, um, with Samantha and um, Felicity and all of their um, and even Rebecca, like her furniture. I would have Molly's dining table in one room and the dining table, or she would be in the kitchen, and then I have like Kit's kitchen set in the kitchen um, and her laundry set, like as well like in another room or even outside the house so yeah I would just set it up like each time period and it would be just super fun alright I think that's enough on my AG dollhouse <laughs> um, but yeah that would definitely be it if you could have a superpower to help you with your dolls what would it be um, I would definitely have the power to like imagine like like snap my fingers and have any AG item, American Girl item I would want from their catalog or whatever. Um, I would definitely want to be able to sew. Um, I'm really, I'm not a very good sewer, so that's something that, oh, excuse me, dry throat. <coughs> um, something that I would love to do is, is be able to sew, like snap my fingers and have like, you know, doll clothes. <laughs> Um, who will your dolls go to when you die? Um, that's a good question. I know that my grandmother's dolls are coming to me. Um, she has said, you know, <laughs> even she's like, when you move out, like, and, you know, have a bigger room, like, you will get all my dolls. And I went, okay. But they're not American Girl dolls. They're just porcelain dolls. Um, I, yeah, my family doesn't really like like my American Girl dolls and you know because I'm an adult like my sister and my like brother are like older so um <laughs> my dog's like really want to get touched right now um if I were an adult like if I had if I married and had kids and grandkids and stuff like that and then I would die like they would definitely go to my grandkids or my daughter or whatever but um, as of right now, if I like died right now, I think my family would probably sell them on eBay. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. And number eight, how much longer will you be interested in dolls? Well, it's just funny because I've been interested in dolls since I was like a little girl. Like, so I have always been interested in dolls and I will always be interested in dolls. Um, yeah, I was never ashamed to be, like, asking for porcelain dolls for Christmas or anything. Um, I know that I kind of 
didn't and people stopped giving me dolls but I would always kind of like buy dolls for myself like I bought a couple of Barbies when I was in college because um, they were like the princess collection and I'm really big into princesses too um, and I've bought what else so yeah so I've you know and just recently like my grandmother came back from like a cruise and got me a Russian doll so <laughs> um, I have always I have always loved dolls I will always continue to love dolls whether they're on display or not um, in my room would be different I mean if I get you know find a husband and get married they wouldn't necessarily be on display in my room but they might be on display in a different room so um, I'd have to find somebody that doesn't mind my collecting dolls. <laughs> so yeah, I think I will always be interested in dolls. So, all right, well, that's the end of the questions. And my dog is really bugging me because he wants me to come and sit back down on the couch. And it's lunchtime. So yeah, all right, so thanks for watching. Um, oh, I tag anybody that wants to do this because this is super fun. Um, so yeah. I tag all of my subscribers, <laughs> all 15 of them. All right, thanks for watching. It might be more. So if there's more subscribers, sorry. I love you guys all. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.